Board of Sheriff, you know about it. Thank you, everybody. No, but we're just a little bit So we don't lose you. Hello, John. Hi, Steve. <laughs> so thank you very much. I'm heading out to El Paso, Texas, right now. And uh, we are going to do a job. We're going to continue to do what we're doing. I think we've made a lot of progress. We've actually uh, started a big, big portion of wall today in a very important location. And uh, it's going to go up pretty quickly over the next nine months. That whole area will be finished. It's fully funded. Uh, construction, which I know a lot about, has uh, begun. And it's a much uh, better wall, much stronger wall, and a much less expensive wall than we've been building. And we're going to have a lot of wall being built in the last next period of time. Uh, I'm with some of the great law enforcement people. A lot of them are friends of mine. I've known them for a long time. And uh, they've been fantastic people, fantastic men and women. And they know what we're up against. We're up against people that want to allow criminals into our society. And you explain that one. But we're going there for a reason. We're going there to keep our country safe. And we don't want murderers and drug dealers and gang members, MS-13 and some of the worst people in the world coming into our country. Now, Mexico has had the worst year they've ever had, almost 40,000 killings in Mexico this year. One of the most unsafe places, unfortunately. We need a wall. And all of the other things are nice to have. But without a wall, it's not going to work. We can have technology. We can have beautiful drones flying all over the place. But it doesn't work without the wall. Now, we need a wall. We can call it anything. We'll call it barriers. We'll call it whatever they want. But now it turns out, not only don't they want to give us the money for the wall, they don't want to give us the space to detain murderers, criminals, drug dealers, human smugglers,